Hello guys and welcome back to another Toy Command video. So in this video we're going to be changing the op amps in the Roxanne K3 DAC. So the current op amps in there are the NE5532 which Roxanne fitted as a, a standard. But I'm going to be replacing them with the Texas Instrument LM four five six twos which in my experience of using them are an improvement over these current ones so let's have a go all we've got to do is pull these out and push the other ones into place it's very simple so all we need for this is our <clears throat> our new op amps here which we have and just a pair of long nose pliers just to gently pull these out, rock them off. There we go, that's one. Two. That one doesn't work on that, that's it, three. Four. Now, <clears throat> I fitted in the... Uh, all these electrolytics here so I removed the surface mounted capacitors and I fitted in these um, these electrolytics which are the audio note Kaisa. now these are in my opinion the best electrolytics on the market and someone made a comment saying that if you remove the the SMD capacitors these capacitors will fry the board well that hasn't been the case and i didn't just change them so i've got a customer that's an electronics engineer and uh, i spoke to him about it and he says they do it all the time so um if a surface mounted capacitor goes bad they just nip it out and they'll often just put a a through hole capacitor in there like i've done and just bent the, the legs over and i bent the legs over and soldered them to the pads in able to make sure that they're they're stable i've put a bit of epoxy over the top of them just to hold them in place and i can tell you that these have already made a, a lovely improvement now i've been running these in for a while now uh, but what i want to do is just to fit these op amps in now and they have a little circle in the corners on the uh, right hand side okay but what before i do that what i want to do is i want to just put a bit of cake pro gold onto the pins so i've added some pro gold to all the pins and all i want to do now is just push them into place now this can be sometimes a little bit tricky Especially when I'm doing it on camera. So I've got one in. Really hard to push these into place. To get these pins aligned up. I've had to. Um, I've had to just get it on its side. Get one side in first. And then obviously it goes on a slight angle. It's not that easy to do so I shall do these off camera and I'll show you once they're in. So I've fitted the uh, four op amps now and you can see the little circle uh, on the corners so that indicates the right way round. So that should be good so I'll uh, give these a chance to run in and uh, break in and then I'll, um, I'll let you know how good it's sounding. So it's only a quick video today. I wanted to show you me pushing those in, but they were a bugger to get in. They're not that easy, those little pins. And uh, you can easily bend them and ruin them. So uh, I had to take a bit of time off of camera to do that. But um, yep, they're all in now. So I shall plug this in and see how we go. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell. 
so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.